Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's explore more of this lovely village that we live in. Yeah! I love this tropical island theme that we got going on here. These people must be rich living in a place like this. <laughs> El Nido Triangle. It's kind of like the Bermuda Triangle, except less death. Creepy there, huh? That's a pretty big fish you got there. You like a fisherman or something? Oh, a, a sawfish. I thought it was like a swordfish or something like that. Look at the size of this beauty! Dragon King Palace? Whoa! Yeah! You, you don't want to say no to the guy. You want to agree with him. Trust me on that one, viewers. Oh, well, there you go. All right, good for you. But you're not going to sell it? You're just going to use it as a decoration? Termina, huh? Must be somewhere to the north, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's no such thing as a Dragon King Palace. <laughs> of course not. Hey, hey, all right. What do we get from him? We get a Komodo scale. All right. That's a key item that we can use. Well, too bad, I guess. Let's talk to some more people around here before going to some other parts of the village. Yeah, nice weather today. Got nice weather where I'm living, too. Not gonna last too long, though. We're gonna be getting some snow soon. Huh. Fossil Valley, huh? Maybe we should check that place out. Huh, well, I guess they'd be digging up fossils there, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Hey, we got a frame in this cart here. Oh, all right. You were gonna steal something from me, but, you know, I'm just gonna let you keep it anyway, so. All right. Let's see what she sells here. This is the shop in our home village. She can sell elements, kind of like spells and everything and uh equipment you have to forge equipment in this game but uh we're not gonna go over that yet let's take a look at what elements she sells here let's see bye okay let's see we want to get a fireball element and an aqua beam element uh yeah that ought to be enough for now there, these are consumable elements whereas these ones that don't have that icon next to them these are uh well, just normal elements so, all right. Well, I'll show you how to uh, equip elements, or they call it allocating elements, but I'll show you how to do that soon enough. We don't need to do that right now. And th our village is called Arnie Village. Okay. Hydra Marshes to the east, huh? Wow, we got a lot of the places that we can explore around here. That's one thing I like about this game. They let you explore a lot. Not too much, though. Not Dragon Warrior exploration, where... You can, like, run into, uh, you know, really tough enemies. Not too much in this game. Hey, how's it going? Everyone apparently likes calling me Sergi, apparently. So what's popular for the girls? Oh, Komodo Scales. I just happen to have one of those. Maybe if I give one to, uh, Lena, she'll forgive me for blowing her off like that. <laughs> blow. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Now what you gotta do here is uh, I want to give him the Komodo scale to give to his girlfriend. So what you do is you press the square button, brings up your key items, use the item on him, and you trigger the next dialogue. Sure, why not? Okay, now let's see what happens if we offer to sell it to him instead of just giving it to him like in Chrono Trigger. <laughs> doo-doo head. <laughs> no, no, let's, uh, let's just give it to him instead. Yay! All right, we made another villager happy. What do we get from that? We get an uplift element from him. All right! Pulsal? Oh, yeah, was that the, have we learned who Pulsal is yet? Oh, it's a dog. And, uh, huh, okay. Maybe we ought to get a Hecron bone from her. That was that guy that uh, we killed in the first game, wasn't it? Huh. Well, maybe we can see if we can find one around here. Let's talk to this girl. Huh. Oh, yeah. Well, I was just being lazy, but sure, why not? Well, 
Yeah, I wear the pants in this relationship. Or, well, shorts, but yeah. You know what I mean. Oh, I'll break her in. I'll break her in real good. Okay, well, let's explore some of the other houses around here then. I'm gonna take my time exploring this place and all the other wonderful places that we can explore around here. There's just so much to enjoy in this game. Huh. I can barely see her, but uh, I'll take your word for it. Huh, there's that Termina village again, huh? Apparently not, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sure, pal. Oh, okay, I, I won't tell her if you give me an item. No, no, they won't give me an item. Are these guys wearing turbans? I'm gonna assume they are, because I like turbans. Turbans are cool. Poor, huh? How'd they ever get an army? Huh. General Viper and the Dragoons, huh? Well, I guess they're gone now. Wonder whatever happened to them. Huh. Eh. Group of thieves, huh? No, no, I haven't heard anything. Not around here. I mean, it's not like we can lock the door. Well, what are we gonna do? We, we live in huts. On the mainland, huh? Huh. Okay, then. Uh, better watch out for those guys. Hey, how's it going? Sure. Do you work here? Oh, well that, that's a nice, uh... Hmm. Okay. So what does that tell me? Oh, so she likes to write poems. Okay, fair enough. It's a nice little poem you got there. Oh, yeah, yeah, just say that with your boss standing right behind you. Oh, he, he's standing right behind me, isn't he? That That's just great. <laughs> if you want to lose your job, viewers, that is how you do it. Complain about your work environment right in front of him. Yeah, let's listen to the poem again. Just for fun, you know? We, we get a little extra dialogue if we do that, I think. Don't we? Well, we'll find out. Uh, sure, I, I was moved to tears. I need more ladies, anyway. Uh, he said you're fired. Sorry, I went through that a little quickly. Oh, well. <laughs> Why would the owner be actually cooking, though? Eh, let's check out this nice little barrel here. You gotta check out everything in the game. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. Huh. I guess it's just a well. I mean, a barrel. Hey, hey, all right. For examining the barrel four times, we get another uplift element. All right. We can't buy that yet. Hey, how's it going? The record of fate, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, those are the uh, save points in the game. We'll be... Just finding plenty of those along the way, so... Huh, okay. Well, let's uh, raid the back room of uh, this nice restaurant here. Huh, let's see. Back here we get a treasure chest with an ivory helmet. Now, sort of like uh, Chrono Trigger, uh, you have, well, a weapon slot, an armor slot, and then you have accessories. You don't have to equip a helmet in this game, but I usually do most of the time because I usually have... Pretty good defense and magic defense, so let's equip that on Serge there. Okay, let's let, get that thing out of the way. I forget what those things are called. Move! Okay, and under this bed we can get a Hecron Bone! Alright! Maybe if we can find Polsho we can uh, get her to do tricks for us, I guess. No, not those kind of tricks, viewers. Man, I'm taking forever to get around here. Oh, well. It's going to be like three episodes and I still haven't talked to my girlfriend yet. <laughs> but can you blame me, viewers? Really? You could get lost in this tiny little village around here. Yeah, I've heard those things are pretty popular. Uh, sure, why not? 
Gotta make up with Lena somehow. Ah, okay, so he's a dragon expert. Komodo dragon expert, huh? Okay. Rock and roll. All right. Surprise the Komodo dragons. And tag, huh? Well, thanks for the great tips, pal. But will those tips really come in handy for us to make up with, uh, what's her name? My girlfriend's name in the game. Uh, what was it? Lena, that's her name. Something like that. Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!